Um, hey everyone, today I decided to do a little video of books, book series, series, book series, I think, I don't know, a video made of many series of books, but instead of ones that I loved, I decided to do ones that I won't be finishing or wish I didn't finish. The first one is The Hundred, which is by, by Cass Morgan. Oh, now major TV series. This TV series is a lot better than the book and I don't like saying that. So this book, there's a second one called The 100 Day 21 and I read this one because I asked for it for Christmas because I heard good things and I got the second one instead because something went wrong. So I bought this one and I read it. I was like, it, it was average. It's I think it's probably one of the most boring books I've ever read. And I wish I didn't waste my time because I had an issue with starting books and not finishing it, so I had to finish it. Otherwise, it annoys me. <laughs> and I wish I didn't. And I read the second one as well because I don't like buying a series and then not finishing it. And I think that one might have been slightly better than this one, but not by much. Next book is The Rain by. Oh, I don't know the names of any of these authors. Virginia, but I didn't want to offend her. This is a pretty average book. And I found there's another one. Because <laughs> I think I was happy with how this book ended. I was happy with, you know, the plot. It was a bit boring, dragged out a bit. The main character's quite annoying. But, you know, I thought it was alright on its own. Then there's a second book, and <laughs> I read a bit of it, and then I just couldn't finish it. I didn't think it lived up to the first one at all and I'm not going to be finishing this series. This one is The Knife at Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness and to be honest I haven't started this series. My aunt bought me the entire like three book trilogy for my birthday I believe. Oh I saw this page that's intriguing. This book's like very floppy it has no structure to it whatsoever. Structure, nothing. I started reading like the first couple pages and you know the author's voice or the narrator's voice I find it very difficult to read and to get into and if I can't get into a book within like the first couple pages I can't force myself through it. So to be honest I haven't started this series. I'll read it at some point because it's going to bother me forever that I have it on my shelf and I haven't read it but it's not my priority to read anytime soon. This one is Glass House by Rachel Kane. And this series, the Morganville Vampire series, there's like, there's like 15, 16 plus books in this series. I have up to books 8, and I think I read 7 and 8 in the wrong order. So I confuse myself so much that I don't want to start again. Because if I mess something up, I need to start again. If I'm going to start the series, to go through and try and find my mistakes. And, yeah, I don't think it's good enough. Like, personally, I don't think it's a good enough set of characters or world to have so many books out of it. Okay, my SD card just, it was full just now, so I had to stop filming. So everything's probably going to be like different camera angle, different lighting. I'm not a professional. <laughs> I just realised my place who has pockets, that's cool. So my last book is Beautiful Creatures by Kemi Garcia and Margaret Stoll. This isn't a series that I won't be finishing reading, but it's one that I finished reading and I kind of wish I didn't. Because, like many of these other books, the characters are so boring. I'm more interested in supporting characters or characters who get mentioned for a chapter at a time than the actual main ones. Because it's a scenario of this boy is obsessed with a girl and he's willing to do everything for her, but she doesn't care about him. She's got this big secret, which means they can't be together. It's one of those scenarios. I haven't actually finished reading Beautiful Redemption because it's very boring. No, I had no idea what was supposed to be happening in it. So I'd read the other three books. I think I must have read them all in a row. But yet I still had no idea what was the actual plot was supposed to be for one of the books. I think this series would have been slightly better because there's a massive cliffhanger at the end of book three and I think, you know, that would have been a good place to leave it. But, so 
for this video it may have dragged out longer than necessary it may be three minutes long but thank you for watching and i'll see you next week bye